nothing to do with. Oh, okay. You're not going to so guys, I have been through girl act won't save you this time. For a couple what of hours. Evidence do you even have? I've, I've been, been questioning your classmates over the past couple of to months. Get to They've noticed a pattern in your behavior. To get S plus. That so boy over there. S. The one under First the tree. Played this, I think I got, like, You've shown a keen got, like, interest in any girl who developed like, feelings C. I think I got C. And some and then of those I got an S, have gone my missing. All the rivals. I've done all this off-camera and stuff, by the way. I was just playing around What's with happening myself. here is obvious. And, um... Right. Basically, I wanted to get S+. Plus. I've killed the rivals or eliminated them in every single way that Ryoba wanted to. And, yeah. And I've got, I've made sure the police have only come one time, I've got max reputation. On April 1st, Ryoba Aishi so, put a note into the locker it should be good. I should have S+. Plus. Let's just go through it. After reading this note, Sumire went to the East 3rd floor girls' restroom. That was the last time anyone ever saw Sumire. After she was reported missing, police investigated Akademi for clues. In the East 3rd floor girls' restroom, they found some of Sumire's blood. Shortly before Sumire went missing, Ryoba Aishi was spotted carrying a knife and walking in the direction of the East 3rd Floor Girls' Restroom. Later, she was seen carrying a large garbage bag toward- All of this information came from Ui Tunisu, a student at Akademi, who was interviewed by the police the day after Sumire's disappearance. It's obvious what happened to Sumire. Ryoba Aishi killed her in the bathroom with a knife, stuffed her in a garbage bag, and carried her to the incinerator, where she burned all of the evidence. Do you deny any of this, Ryoba Aishi? I did not kill Sumire Saitozaki. It's true that I put a note in her locker and spoke with her in the bathroom, but I simply wanted to discuss a personal matter with her. Not what about the knife? I noticed that one of the knives in the home economics room was missing. It turned out that someone had brought the knife to the cooking club by mistake. So, I simply took it from the cooking club and put it back in its rightful place. And the garbage bag. How do you explain- I love my school. I can't stand to see trash and garbage piling up everywhere. I do my part to keep the- <laughs> You always have a convenient explanation. Do you really think anyone in this courtroom is going to believe your obvious lies? <sighs> Mr. Journalist, there are a number of problems with your theory. First of all, you're accusing me of murder. You don't actually have any proof that Sumire is dead. She is still considered missing, after all. I think she simply ran away because of the stress of studying at an elite school. I pray that she is alive and well and will return to us one day. You think I killed Sumire because of three facts. I spoke to her. I held a knife, and I burned some trash. However, none of these things are grounds for suspicion. Every day at school, dozens of students talk to each other, touch objects that could be used as weapons, and carry garbage bags to the incinerator. There was nothing unusual or suspicious about my behavior. You know, I think I finally figured out what's going on here, Mr. Journalist. Your apprentice? Sonoko Sakanoe became a celebrity after she stopped a kill. You're desperate to pin a crime on me because you want to be a celebrity too. The only reason that any of us are in this courtroom today is because you're deeply insecure that your apprentice has accomplished more than you. Sheesh. Calm. Oh. Order! Order in the court! <laughs> Order in the court. It's true that there is no smoking gun evidence linking you directly to a murder. However, with that said, over the past 11 weeks, you have demonstrated behavior that is suspicious if not outright incriminating. Your classmates have testified that you've been stalking a certain boy at school, following him when he goes shopping, following him when he walks home, by all accounts, you're absolutely obsessed with this boy. Furthermore, every time a girl begins to show signs of interest in him, something always happens that removes the girl from his life. 
You can't possibly expect anyone to believe that these facts are mere coincidence. Clearly, you are sabotaging the boy's love life in order to keep him single. And who else had a crush on that boy? That's right. Sumire Saitozaki. You've been eliminating every girl who comes between you and that boy. And Sumire was your first victim. Order! I said order! Enough conjecture. Let's go over the facts. Right. Kagaya Wakaizumi confessed to Senpai but was rejected by him. She has nothing to do with Ryoba Senpai at this point in time. Moeko Rakiona was burned to death. As any as far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Onami Hadoshi oh, Onami Hadoshi Hanami Hodoshima was crushed to death. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Sumiko Tachibana was poisoned to death. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Mitsuko Chikanari, or Chikanari, drowned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Ai Doriashi was electrocuted to death. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Teiko Nabatasai was expelled from the academy. Ryoba's involvement is not suspected. Kamako Fonagashi was bullied until she withdrew from Academy. Ryoba's involvement is not suspected. Shigusa, uh, uh, Shigusa Busujima entered a relationship with someone other than Senpai. She is currently in a happy relationship with the boy. Sonoko Sakanoi made friends with Ryoba. She testified in court that Ryoba is a good person and would never commit murder. There you go. So I did every single elimination the Ryoba Aishi was. After Sumire's disappearance, the police were called to Academia a total of one times. The police discovered a total of one corpses at Academy. Ryoba made 81 friends at Academy. Ryoba's reputation at school is 100. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her doing something suspicious two times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her carrying a dangerous weapon around school zero times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her walking around in bloodstained clothing zero times. Zero students testified that they witnessed Ryoba commit murder. Taking all of the facts into consideration, it is clear beyond on, any boys. shadow of Ready? a doubt. Ready to see? Three, two, one. That Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. Three, two, one, and. Yes! Baby! It's so beautiful. S plus. Wow, that is beautiful. That is so nice. Look at that. Wow. That's so nice, though, honestly. So, it took a long time. It honestly took me several hours to do. I kept um, accidentally resetting the week and stuff using debug. Um, yeah, it was complicated, but I got through it, and I got to S+. Plus. And now, we see the special cutscenes. I am a true Yandere. A murderous schoolgirl who killed news I didn't have and even all I want, but I'll never kill only if I can even the pets. There's a true marriage. Revenge, I won't, but this isn't over yet. It's unfortunate that things turned out like this, but I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. So I had to take away the option. I had to take away the option. Our relationship might be awkward for a little while, but we'll get through it together. After all, ah, there. But I learned. I'm sure. Yay. <laughs> There is still so much to look forward to. Like the blossom of a cherry tree. Oh, I feel like, oh god. I don't want to skip it because I feel like I'm going to end up skipping some sort of... Senpai, 
I'm back from the store. I made sure to buy all of your favorite. Senpai? Senpai? No! Why would you leave me? I thought we were making progress. I thought we were finally starting to. Oh, wait. What? Did it fly out? Better? Dear Ryobaishi, we have taken your senpai out for some fresh air. We have no intention of harming him. We will return him to you, but first, you must pass a test. Come to the row of abandoned warehouses outside of town. We will be in warehouse AD79. Bring whatever you want with you, but come alone. Honestly, you I have one. Hour. I, w I hope that we get to see Side. what happens with this. Psycho Psycho in the final game. CEO and founder of Psycho Corp. A lot more deeper stuff. And now we should get to see the timeline. Seventeen eighty, the first Aishu is born. Nineteen twenty-eight, Saisho Psycho is born. Nineteen thirty-three, Ryo's grandmother is born. World War Two begins. World War Two ends. Saisho Psycho. And he starts a company named Psycho Corp. Nineteen forty-six, Ryo's grandmother finds a senpai. Ryo's grandmother buys a house in Raza, small town near Tokyo. Ryo's mother is born. Psycho Corp is this. Kojo Shiona is born when? 1960. Man is born who would later become an investigative journalist. Kidnaps no kidnapping. I'm just gonna let you guys read it all. She finds her senpai. What happens next? It's just a loop, isn't it? But yeah, anyways, guys, that was the S plus ending in the 1980s mode. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.